summer on the east coast of South Carolina means fun on the beach for many. But for the South Carolina Aquarium in downtown Charleston, it's peak season for sea turtle strandings. Turtles are washing up on the shoreline sick and injured. The sea turtle hospital is at maximum capacity. 2016 is the busiest year on record, with 43 turtles coming through the hospital doors. Dr. Shane Boylan is the only full-time vet treating these incoming patients. He and his assistant, Whitney Daniel, work round the clock at the ER. We've had multiple days with two turtles coming in a day, so um, busy, busy, busy. <laughs> Today's no exception. A new patient, the staff has named Conk, is in pretty bad shape. Conk is a small green sea turtle. Conk comes in extraordinarily thin, he's weak, he's low glucose, he's dehydrated, and he's got gas in the intestines. So he came in, we knew he was in pretty bad shape. He's got a little hole on top of his carapace, top of his shell, trachea. The hole is from a serious infection, and it's burrowing its way from the inside out, through the top of Conk's shell. So if you want to put an analogy, just imagine if you have, your, you have basically diarrhea that burns through you and burns out the front or back end of you. They use a nebulizer to target medicine directly where it's needed, Conk's lungs. While Conk's inhaling his medicine, Dr. Boylan and Whitney review the results of his CT scan. Oh, oh, look at all, oh, I don't know. Look how it's just gone on the right-hand side. It's worse than feared. An infection has spread throughout Conk's lungs and caused severe pneumonia. They'll need a culture to find out what's causing the infection. I'm afraid Conk's, Conk's in for a difficult fight. A new arrival interrupts everything. A juvenile loggerhead has been caught in a trawling net, along with a stingray that's inflicted some wounds. It may still have the stingray's barb impaled. Dr. Boylan examines the wound. A quick radiograph tells him the stingray's barb isn't stuck inside. It's just a bad sting. Nothing a little anti-inflammatory won't fix. All right, buddy, this is going to sting just a touch. I apologize. While the loggerhead recovers, the team turns its attention back to the green sea turtle, Conk. They flush his lungs with saline to help treat his pneumonia and collect the fluids for testing. The prognosis isn't good. It's one of the few cases I don't think is going to probably come around. So I'm going to make sure we do the best that we can for him. But there's nothing more they can do. Bacterial and fungal infections riddle Conk's body. Some battles just can't be won. You ready, babe? Yep, one, two, three. In record time, the big loggerhead that came in for stingray wounds is ready for release. The team mobilizes to get her back out. This is the first time we've had a turtle actually be able to arrive and go out on the same day. On the tougher days, it's easy cases like this that offer some relief for Dr. Boylan. The Department of Natural Resources will release the loggerhead close to where they found it. She's only a juvenile, 
and should have plenty of reproductive years ahead of her. It's been a long day, but they've grown accustomed to the rush. We just get inundated with cases. So, um, yeah, I knew this job was, I, I don't know how, how busy it was gonna be, like how many three in the morning kind of cases, but after a while, you just kind of get used to it. Tomorrow, they'll have a new slew of patients to take care of and continue the fight for their survival. <laughs>